Welcome. Channel mode. Welcome. Channel mode. So, welcome back to another video. I'm just uh, playing around with the handhelds, and uh, right in front of your screen is uh, some of my little handheld radios that I've got. I've picked a couple of new ones up. Uh, on the left hand side is the FT470, which is my first ever handheld. I've had that for over 20 years. And then coming in to the side of that is the little Yesu handy, uh, which belongs to M7 ELC, a very nice piece of kit. And to the right, we've got the Kenwood TH7E, uh, that uh, receives SSB. AM, FM uh, from uh, an, a, a big bandwidth and uh, I use that again on the satellites on FM, VHF, UHF but what I'm going to focus today is uh, these two in the middle so I'm going to start with this one uh, the little uh, UV10 uh, from Beofeng and uh, it's a, a very economic buy this one worked out at virtually nothing uh, picked it up from one of these online uh, superstars and uh, the price is absolutely peanuts so I'm going to have a look at that one and then we're going to have a quick look at the next one so yeah I picked this one up uh, just over a week ago so this radio reminds me a lot of the Kenwood actually uh, it's very similar uh, the quality is, is very good believe it or not it worked out about £4 <laughs> so I got a special offer to introductory offer uh, I don't think they're particularly expensive and what I do like about it straight away is its charging feature it's got one of these C type uh, fast charge uh, USB connectors from a phone charger so that's pretty handy sort of thing you can just uh, have in your vehicle and uh, keep charging it with them with these uh, onboard charging systems so yeah the quality is good um, it's oh. nice nice and easy to use a bit of radio I won't play that particularly long I don't want it to spoil the video but you can listen to broadcast stations whilst you're operating this thing what I do like about it is uh, when you are listening to the broadcast stations Whatever frequency you've got this set to on the uh, handbands, uh, it automatically overrides the broadcast music, we'll say, and you can hear the, the uh, transmission from any station as soon as it comes on. So it takes the music off and brings it straight through. It's also got dual watch, so I can have both VFO selected and listen to uh, both of these particular repeaters in this situation. And, um, so, yeah, it's good. So, yeah, a nice, powerful little radio, 4 watts output, and, uh, yeah, pretty decent little piece of kit for starting off. Uh, covers um, VHF, UHF, uh, battery on it, it's been really good, I've had it on the go for over a week and I've just charged it for the first time tonight, so really decent, uh, solid feel and for the kind of money that I paid, what can you say? So um, programming wise I use Chirp, which I'll show you what Chirp is. So Chirp's just this program which you can download for free, fairly easy to use, I'm uh, not uh, a new, uh, an experienced user, I've only just recently got into it, but it's pretty straightforward. It's pretty much like a spreadsheet system where you just copy and paste the frequency. The good thing is you can select all the different uh, tone settings, um, anything you want from power to squelch to CTSS and uh, whatever you like, narrow band, wide band, AM, uh, if your radio supports it, SSB, all that kind of stuff. So it's just a, a simple program that a lot of people use called Chirp and uh, most of you already know about it, but for, if you're new, or you haven't yet got into these modern stuff, which I'm just starting to get into. It's an easy thing to get into. Watch a YouTube video and you'll soon be away with that one. You just need a little lead. Uh, it's a USB lead. This is the, the Bayo thing lead, actually. It only cost me about, I think it was about £3. Cheap enough on this uh, online store. And it's a, the connecting plug to the radio is the same as the Kenwood, which is quite a, a coincidence. It makes you wonder if they just ripped the Kenwood off back in the day. Probably did. Uh, but uh, they did a good job, so I'm not complaining. Same plug, that's the Kenwood microphone, which I use with the Kenwood, and that actually works on the Bayo thing radio. I tried it, but I'm a, 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 you can get a, a variety of different microphones. So you need the programming cable um, if you want to just use that chirp program. And again, you just plug it into the USB computer, laptop, whatever you're running, Windows based system. Once you've downloaded chirp, it's uh, easy enough to follow. You can select the radio type and uh, obviously the model. So that, so that's, so where are we? This is the, uh, the little uh, UV10. So yeah, I'm pretty pleased with that. As you can see, decent reception. Screen's not over big, um, but it, it, I'm just trying to get it in focus for you. It is actually, um, you can see it pretty well, but for some reason, my phone, it's better with the uh, illumination off. So you can see it, it's uh, okay. Easy enough to navigate around. Um, Four, five. 
this is your menu system I just shouldn't have really brought the backlight on but basically it's pretty straightforward and uh, straightforward to get into and then for the money I really like it so let's have a look at this next one so yeah I really like this this is uh, the big brother we'll say I'm not too sure what the difference is uh, between a UV 5 RM uh, and a UV 5 uh, Max. I know that it's the high power version and this one is the classic as the tri-bander but it's actually got four bands on it. Uh, I like the uh, screen. Uh, I made a video last night of it receiving the International Space Station. I was really impressed with the uh, quality. I was only running this antenna by the way. This isn't the stock antenna. Uh, the stock antenna is half the size of this. This is uh, just another Beofeng product. So yeah, good reception quality, good, great speaker. The audio quality is uh, superb. So the antenna on this one is the uh, NA771. And again, it was cheap as chips. So I love the uh, the feel, uh, love the look of it. Decent size, but the screen is what I got it for. My eyesight's not as good as what it used to be. Uh, so a nice screen like this when I'm working the satellites with my arrow antenna outside is gonna be pretty nice, I reckon. And the signal meter, uh, that's really cool. So you've got two separate signal meters, one for each VFO, and it actually it's just like a, a quality uh, reading with a 5 by 9 type of affair on plus. So you've got your usual stuff, press that button and the broadcast station will come on. I'll just turn it back off, I don't really want it on. So that works like that, and then you've got all these other cool features like built-in torches and uh, sirens, I think. Oh, uh, obviously looking up the squash off, if you hold that button a bit longer, I think a, a siren goes off. I'm not particularly bothered about demonstrating that. And then uh, obviously to navigate around the menus, uh, it's a little bit similar to the other one. You press the menu you. button, comes in, slightly different layout, run through all the different features, which I'm not going to do now, but I have been through them all and they're pretty easy. But obviously I can set them up with the chirp setting, so I don't need to worry about that at the minute. So yeah, um, good bit of kit. This button here is pretty handy. If someone's transmitting on a frequency, I just press and hold this one and it'll pick up anybody uh, who's in range transmitting a frequency. But I'm not too worried about that at the moment, so uh, we won't worry about that. But it does uh, come in handy if you're maybe at a rally or something, I don't know. Or, or possibly wanting to know what frequency a repeater's uh, transmitting on. But who knows, we'll find out as we use it. But I like the illuminated keypad. Uh, the other radio, the Bale thing, didn't have an illuminated keypad. So this will be much more fun outside when it's dark. So yeah, uh, I like this radio quite a lot. So uh, the quality of the audio is superb. So when we have a look at what we're uh, putting it up against, which you can see it's obviously come a long way. This is my FT470, which I used to use, well, still use, uh, on the satellites on my Arrow antenna. A very good speaker, that's why I use it. It's got a great speaker, and uh, it's actually a, a proper duplex radio, so you can transmit and receive uh, and hear it at the same time. But I just generally use this for reception purposes because of the quality speaker. Uh, and this is my TX uh, Uplink radio, the Kenwood, which again, I've had it for... I must have had it for 20 years nearly, 15 years. I've had it since about 2005, so yeah, nearly 20 years. And uh, a beautiful piece of kit by Kenwood. Reliable, I've got a new battery pack on it. And uh, it, it's a good radio, I can't fault it. And I didn't really need to buy these new ones. But this one here, well, I got it because I wanted to try out Chirp. And I just wanted to get into messing around. I didn't want to spend too much money in case I made a cock up of it. But obviously, it was very easy. To do it on this one, I just uh, pull out the cover, undo that. And this is where the uh, connector goes for the... The chirp, chirp connection, or should I say the USB connector, not chirp connection. So the USB uh, uh, connecting cable, which obviously is what you need to program it. Plug it straight into there, straight and forward, easy enough. Pretty much just like that. So that's the cable, and on the end we've got the USB socket hanging down. It's exactly the same system on this one, so nicely uh, concealed. And yeah, it's a good bit of kit. Again, I didn't mention... This one is the same charging system, so underneath here you've got the C-Type fast charger. Uh, again, charged it up, but the size of that could give me a good capacity, a uh, long time operating. And like I said earlier, it uh, supposedly, allegedly, puts out 10 watts. I'll have to put a meter on that uh, to get the true reflection, but I've watched a few YouTube videos, and uh, the other model, the 5M, which I'm sure is pretty similar, that uh, definitely uh, on certain bands has put 10 watts out, so... And that's pretty good. Uh, obviously, I'm not really that worried. It's more for the sound quality that I'm interested in, for the reception and for the sats and stuff. But that is a very nice speaker. So, yeah, happy with that one. So, I'm going to do a few more tests uh, as um, I get into it, and I'm going to be plugging it into the satellite antenna and uh, showing you how it works on that. So, I'm just going to quickly uh, navigate 
never, never get to the menu and uh, show you the airband side of it. I've programmed a couple in. So uh, just using the menu feature. Obviously you can turn the voice off if you want, but that's quite handy as well in, if, you, if you fancy it. Easy enough to unnavigate from the voice. But there we've got the airband. Not the greatest reception in here. But just proving that it actually has it in the uh, in the, the sequence, and that's the local airport frequency, Leeds Bradford Airport. So I'll get the traffic coming through on that one. So yeah, pretty useful. Um, obviously, we've got all the other bands. Um, I've just got a few programmed in. Well, quite a few memories through that chirp system which I used, and I've got some satellite frequencies pre-programmed as well. And uh, I've got a bit of PMR in there, so I can listen on that one and shot watch. And um, yeah, I've got a bit of everything. It works on more or less every band. So obviously you can only transmit legally on the amateur radio bands with this piece of kit, uh, which is license uh, required. But you can certainly listen on any band you like uh, without a license. And for the money that this one's going for, I would definitely recommend uh, possibly getting one and yeah, having your own. So that's the uh, local repeater coming in. Which I'm not locked into at the minute, but I can soon uh, find it. Which I could type it in, but I've got it in the memories, and there it is. So, yeah, good bit of kit, and as you can see, it works really well. So, yeah, like I say, I'm going to hook these up to the arrow antenna. I'll probably just uh, hook this one up first and use the Kenwood for the transmission, and then swap it around and see how we get on. Or maybe I'll transmit on this one instead. Who knows? But anyway. We'll find out, uh, like I say, a little play around, spin a little bit of change, just have a bit of fun really. And uh, the other radios are still good, obviously. So yeah, I reckon the uh, UV5R Max is going to work out to be a pretty cool radio. And obviously for anyone who's thinking about uh, messing around, programming them up, try out one of these cheaper models first if you're a little bit frightened. Catch you later, thanks for watching. M0YKS with a couple of uh, cheap handles, but pretty impressed to be honest. Really uh, liking this one especially. Can't fault this one. There's not very little difference between this and the Kenwood, if any, apart from the Kenwood's got a little bit more of a band scope uh, with the SSB side, but the sound of it sounds better, the uh, operating functions are very similar, but this one, this is absolutely uh, quality item, so I'm really happy with it. Catch you later.